In the last class, we studied about relations. Today, we will study about functions. Now, uh, function is basically a special type of relation. Function is a special type of relation. Now, we have come across uh, various kinds of functions in our uh, in our previous classes and. Uh, previous topics that we have studied. Now we have of course seen functions like this, y is equal to x plus 3, y is equal to x squared and things like that. Now they all come under the heading functions. Now the formal definition of a function is that a function f from a to b where a is a non-empty set and b is also a non-empty set is defined only if, means this is called a function, only if the domain is completely used. And number two is an element of the domain cannot associate with more than one element of the codomain. I'll explain that to you. Now you see we have over here y is equal to x plus 3. Now you see we can call the function to be a map, a map from from set A to set B, following this particular condition. Now, if we consider A to be the set from where we get the values of x, when we put x is equal to 1, we get 1 plus 3 is 4. So, we are able to get 1 is associated to 4. Similarly, if we have x is equal to 2, then 2 plus 3 is 5, when x is equal to 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So you see there is an association happening, a map that is happening from A to B, which is associated with this condition. So it is a function. Now we have studied in our previous chapter what is the meaning of the word domain. So over here, this is the domain. So you see it's 1, 2, 3 are the elements of the domain. Now it is completely used means we have used every one of them or we have got something, a result when we have used the elements of the domain. In this particular case, you see 1, 2, 3, there is no other element and they have all been used. So it satisfies the first condition. The second condition for a function to hold is that an element of the domain cannot associate with more than one element of the codomain. Now what is the meaning of the word codomain? I have explained this in the previous chapter. It is the set B. The set B is the codomain. Now for a function to be, to be happening, Every element of the domain cannot associate with more than one. That means it can associate itself to only one element. What does that mean? Now, what it means is this. If I have 3, which is going to 6, 3 cannot also go to 5. If it goes to 5, then it is associating with more than one. So you see 3 is associated with 6. 3 is associated with 5, then it is not a function. But in this particular case, which I have already drawn on the board, it is associating with only 1, so therefore it is a function. Now this is the condition for, for a relation to be a function, that it must have the domain completely used and every element of the domain must be associated with only one element of the code domain. Now, it is all right, it is all right if B is not completely used up. Now you see the domain must be completely used up, but if there is a number here, let's say 10, no problem, it is still a function. So it does not require that B has to be completely be used up, it does not require. So it's all right if there is an element in B which is not having something to do with an element in A, it's all right. Another thing is, two elements, two elements of the domain may associate with the same element of the 
core domain. What does that mean? Now you see, if we were, this is this function is y is equal to x plus three. But suppose I were to have a function y is equal to x squared. Suppose I were to have a function like that. Then take a look. If I were to have this as a and this to be b, and I have minus one and I have plus one. When I square that, what will I get? I would have got both to be equal to 1. This is alright, this is acceptable. So, two elements of a domain, two elements of a domain may associate with the same element of the codomain. So, this is fine. This is fine for it to be a function. But, but if you have something like this, This is not fine. This is not accepted. This will not be a function there. That is what it says an element of the domain cannot associate with more than one element of the code domain. So I hope you have understood and made uh, yourself clear about what is the concept of a function. Now we come to a few different kinds of function and I will just rub off some of the things that we don't require so that I can give you some uh, illustrations of the different types of functions. Our board is very small to do such a big topic. It would have been nice to have it all on the board when I teach. But the coronavirus doesn't allow us to do that. So we have to make the best of what we have. Alright, so the first type is called a one-to-one -one function. Now, what do you mean by a one-to-one -one function? If you were to have a mapping, which is like this, in fact, the, the example that we had was similar. This is called a one-to-one -one function. Now, what it means is this, that every element, every element of the set A, of the set A is associated with a unique element of set B. Means you do not have any mixing or anything, it will be lines like this. So every element of A will be associated with a unique element in set B. This is called a one-to-one -one function. The next type is many-to-one function. Now you see, I've given an example how you get this y is equal to x plus 3. Now a many to one function. Suppose you have a many to one function which is from set A to B. And suppose we have y is equal to x squared. So I have over here minus 1 plus 1 and I have 2. And I write these numbers here 1 and 4. Now you see, two elements of set A is associated with one element of set B. Now you see, this is called a many to one. So, many to one. This is called a many to one function, where this is not happening. This is called a many to one function. This is called a many to one function. The third type is called an onto function. Now what do you understand by an onto function? Now an onto function is a function where every element of the set B or the code domain is used up. Let's take an example. Suppose you have a mapping from A to B where you have 1, 2, 3 and we'll use the same one for 5 and 6. You see? What's good about this is that every element of set B is used up. It is used up because it has got something to do with an element of set A. It is associated with an element of set A. I'll come to the terminologies a little later in my next video, but you can understand from here what is the meaning of an onto function. An onto function is a function where you have 
where you have every element of the code domain used up. That means it has got something to do with an element from set A. It is called the pre-image, but I'll give you the definitions to all that a little later when I take my next video. The next is called, then it's called the into function. Now if we have set B not completely used up, I had told you that that is all right. It is still a function. So if we have an element of set B not used up, in this case it is the number 7, this is called an into function. This is called an into function. So I think that is quite clear. Now this is very important, the fifth one, the bijection. A bijection means it requires two conditions. First is that it should be a one-to-one -one, and second is that it should be an onto function. It should be a one-to-one -one and it should be an onto function. What does that mean? Means every element of set A will be associated with a unique element of set B and every element of set B must be used up. So if these two conditions are fulfilled, it is called a one-to-one -one onto function or it is also called a bijection. Now if we have to understand what is a one-to-one -one into function, it would be something like this, what I just rubbed off. So we'll have one, two, three, we'll have four, five, six, and seven. So you see, this is A and B, and we will see that there is one number seven which is not used up, and that makes it one to one into. Just remember, we have the one to one function, and I have explained to you the into function. If both of them exist in the function, then it is a one to one into function. What is a many to one onto function? A many to, this is a many to one onto function. It's a many to one onto function because it is many to one. That means two elements of set, set A are associated with one element of set B. And it is, it is an onto function because all the elements of set B are used up. So this is called a many to one onto function. And what is a many to one into function. A many to one into function would be something like this. If we have a mapping from A to B and we have one, two, and we have minus one. Okay, I'll just make a little difference over here. Suppose I have minus one and plus one. We have to do a many to one onto function. And we have four and I have five. So this will come here if it is y is equal to x square and this comes here and we will have one element which is not used up in set b so many to one into function happens when we have the many to one happening that is two elements of set a is associated with one element of set b and it is an into function that means all the elements of the codomain b is not used up so you can go through this video once again to understand in the next videos we will be doing some some problems some working rules will be explained how to do the problems based on this functions